So now the next important part is the seedlings. When we talk about the seedlings, we talk about different different things. Like a lot of people when they start their hydrophonic journey or even a you know, traditional farming journey or agricultural journey. The first thing, the first failure when the reality hits, the reality strikes, it's at the seedling phase. Now let's talk about the seedlings in details. What exactly is seedlings? Like wh why, why it is different than the actual agriculture? I, I emphasize on this seedlings is actually different than the traditional or any kind of agriculture. This amount of you no know, attention seedlings need or the amount of nutrients or a type of a nutrient seedlings need is totally different. The climatic condition seedlings need is totally different than the agriculture which we do in general. So let's talk about the seedlings. On your screen you can see there is a tray and you can see you can also see this is, there is a plant which is coming out of a seed. So whenever we talk about the seed, seed consists of mainly three parts. The first part is the whatever micronutrients or nutrients the plant need for the initial days. That's part of a seed. Second thing, the the actual plant which can grow and which can be which can become a plant or a tree in future. That actual plant that is covered into the seed. And the third important part is the storage capacity. Seeds have their outer, outer storage capacity where it can be stored for a longer period and by providing little bit heat and little bit uh, humidity you can start the process of ger germination so every seed consists of this part first part is a nutrient which is a nutrient required for the plant for initial growth second actual plant and third the storage container or storage capacity or storage you no know, outer layer of the seed these are the three things which uh, seeds are made of so whenever we talk about the germination, whenever we want to do the initial germination, we use pro tray or general trays which are used. So we use 100 pocket trays uh, which are easily available on a India Mart or a, you can buy it on a Flipkart, Amazon, you can buy it on a Jasdell, you can find a vendors for that. So we use a pl plain pro tray to uh, no, germinate a seeds from the seeds to create a initial plants. So these are uh, this is the method which we follow to germinate a seed. First we took the empty tray. Uh, we made sure we, do, we are not reusing the tray whenever we are re reusing the tray we made sure that they are properly washed or properly you know uh, pro generally avoid reusing of the tray we every time we try to use a new tray even if you are using the reusing the tray we properly wash them before using because there there might be attack of a fungicides or fung uh, fun fungus after a period of time when seedlings are growing so because of that reason because generally when we water seedlings the tray are the tray remain in the humid container or humid zone for the longer period so there is high chances of you know fungus formation on the trees so every time if you are using the tray wash it or make sure that it's a new tray and make sure it's not damaged tray every time try to use non damaged trees now second phase what we do is we press cocoa pit into the trees when we add all cocoa pit into the tree on top of that we add seeds into the tray whenever we are adding the seeds into the tray we make sure the seed goes one centimeter deep inside the cocoa pit once seed goes deep inside the cocoa pit, again we refill the tray with a second layer of a cocoa pit. Once second layer of cocoa pit is done, this tray is completely done. The seed, uh, no, seed sowing part is done. Now what we do is, we, we pile the trays on top of each other. We try, we try to do 15 to 20 trays pile up on each other. So this is generally used to create a humid environment, a little warm environment for seeds to grow very rapidly. Sometimes you can do the same method with a closed container, but generally piling up a trays on top of each other does a very good job. If you are doing commercial production, no, covering them inside the container and maintaining the humidity and temperature becomes a little bit tedious. So the simplest method is just pile up trays on each other. We water them tray, we water the tray properly, and once the tray's watering is done, we cover the tray. We cover the tray for the first three days. So we avoid any kind of a sunlight to it. So we make the complete you no know, humid condition and we rise the temperature a little bit by covering the trays uh, for three days. After three days, we start seeing a small, small seedlings growth. We start seeing you no know, new plants have started coming out of a seed phase. So that's the phase when we start spreading our trays thin enough and uh, we introduce a mild sunlight to the trays where the uh, plants from the seed phase they start developing into the seedling phase so this is the this is the process which we follow to convert seeds to the seedlings 